Hey loves, welcome back. So if you've seen any of my videos, you probably will know that I'm a big Charlotte Tilbury fan and in particular, the Pillow Talk products, the Pillow Talk range. My obsession started with the lipstick and the liner, cult classic. I think something like every three seconds a Pillow Talk product is sold, which is epic. I got those, then I got the Pillow Talk eyeliner, then I got the Pillow Talk blush, and then I got the Pillow Talk one of these things, highlighty blushy things, basically. Basically, if it's got pillow talk on it, then I'm gonna buy it, pretty much. I'm also a huge mascara fan and the hunt for like the ultimate mascara still continues. I will never stop searching for the one mascara that does it all. And very recently, Charlotte Tilbury released the pillow talk mascara and I had to get it. I did get the mini size because I've got about four or five mascaras on the go, so I tried to rein it in a little bit this is the pillow talk push-up lashes mascara now i'm a little bit confused because i did think originally pillow talk was kind of like the shade like all of these products are of a similar tone a similar shade ish and this is black i think charlotte's maybe gone like listen listen creative team if we just put the words pillow talk on it it will sell and boy was she right i really wanted to try this out in particular because because all of the imagery I've seen, the videos, the website, the Instagrams, everything, this mascara has been demonstrated on ladies that have been blessed in the eyelash department. Most of these ladies that I've seen have got long, thick, voluminous, beautiful lashes to start with, and I haven't. I've got pathetic, short, sparse, stumpy lashes, so if anyone's gonna be able to really put it to the test, it's gonna be me. In my head then, and sync popped up. It's gonna be me. This says it has a 24 hour lift effect and it's, oh my God. This says, oh that's better. This says it has a 24 hour lift effect and it's smudge and humidity proof. I'm gonna go through the other bubble claims in a second, but I thought we'd whack it on my tiny pathetic excuse for lashes, see what it looks like. And then let's see how it wears throughout the day. I'm doing some shopping today walk the dogs, I'm gonna have a big workout later on, a very sweaty workout. So we will definitely be able to see if it has some sort of smudge and humidity proofness to it. I'm not gonna keep it on for 24 hours, but I think if we keep it on all day, by this evening when I check back in, I think that's gonna be a nice window of time to see if this really does some of what it claims to do. So let's crack it open. Cute little packaging, iconic kind of gold logo, nice, like pastel pink pillow talk push-up lashes nice size so this says 24 hour vertical lift effect for the lashes of your dreams lash innovation and a secret to instant length weightless volume stretch and a 24 hour vertical lift effect for the lashes of your dreams it's a lot of lashes of our dreams going on here isn't there glossy lifted defined stretch effect separated voluminous beautiful lashes these are all the things I want from mascara for sure. It's got an innovation brush, low comb and lift technology. It's got diamond shaped bristles, lash lifting polymers. There's just keratin. There's just so much. There's so much stuff in this mascara. Smudge proof, humidity proof, and no lash curlers needed. Oh, okay. So I've watched a little tutorial on Charlotte's website that says that you start off with the like flat to get right into the base of your lashes and then you kind of twist and pull it up to get all of the other lashes. I'm gonna put my mirror right under here so I can see. Here. And then we're gonna twist it and pull it up. It's going on very smooth. Very, very smooth. No clumping at all. Wow, I'm kind of loving it already. <laughs> there we go. So far, I'm pretty darn, imp pretty darn impressed actually. What I might do is should we, should we go in for another coat? Let's see how well it builds. Okay, that's coat number two. It builds really, really beautifully. Like no matter how much product I'm layering on, it really isn't clumping and it feels very light. I have got the shortest natural lashes. I think if you've got really long, beautiful lashes, this is gonna just blow your, 
blow your mind. Let me finish the other eye, we'll come back in, have a quick little check up. Okay, both eyes done. And I'm not just saying this, and I know a lot of people are gonna be like, oh yeah, but she loves Charlotte Tilbury and she loves Pillow Talk. This is probably, for the first time I've used a mascara, one of the nicest mascaras I have used. And the reason I say that is sometimes when you buy a mascara, off the bat, like the first two, three, four, maybe five applications, it's overly wet, there's too much product on the wand. You know, a lot of the time a mascara has a little bit of settling in time. And once it's dried out a little bit, then you, you kind of fall in love with it. It is so smooth and I was really building it up and it hasn't clumped at all. I am really, really excited and impressed with this. But let's not get carried away, let's hold our horses not that was and see how it wears throughout the day but straight away first application mm, mm, take all my money pillow talk if i get another dog or something they'd be like what's your dog's name pt what's that stand for pillow talk anyway i'll stop waffling i'll come back a little bit later and we'll see how it's wearing so it's been about four hours since i first applied the mascara i've been out shopping it's been quite windy today actually i've got zero fallout no flakes no smudges no kind of black crumbles at all it's still looking really nice and lifted their lashes haven't kind of drooped or flopped in any way it feels incredibly lightweight like it is a very lightweight mascara and my lashes don't feel like crunchy at all or heavy so far so so good like i said i've got a big workout planned for later on i think that's going to be a really big test i will definitely be sweating so if it's going to smudge then that's probably the time it will do it so i'll leave you for now i'll continue on with my day and then I'll do the workout and I'll check back in. I'm doing a lot of flappy hand movements and I don't know why. But I'll check back in after that workout and we can see how it held up. So here I am post-workout. I just did a 45 minute workout. It was called The Crucible. It's pretty hardcore. Lots of reps, lots of sweat and the mascara. I can literally feel sweat running on my forehead. How delightful. The mascara hasn't budged at all and I have been sweating very hot it has fallen a touch it isn't as curved and standy uppy as when we applied it we obviously i'm including you guys but no smudging no flaking no crumbling i haven't got any black smudges or dots underneath it hasn't really budged at all for the first time use this is probably one of the best mascaras off the bat i have ever used I don't know if I'll still feel that way in a week, two weeks, three weeks. Sometimes, like I said before, it takes a little while to get into a mascara. But this from first application has blown me away. Like seriously, seriously impressed me. I really, really appreciate that you can get a mini size because mascaras are very individual, aren't they? What I want and need from a mascara might not necessarily be what you want and what you need. And the fact that you can go in and sort of commit to a half size is great. This video obviously isn't sponsored, and I show it to you if you want to sponsor me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Will you let me know in the comments if you've tried this and what you think? Did it perform as well as you'd hoped? Have you got any other application tips? Please, please let me know. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing. But from me and my pillow talk obsession, I'll speak to you really, really soon. Take care.